Corvette Pratt Aldridge, and I am a, uh, an, a, a professor of art at North Carolina a and State University. Uh, I'm actually retired. I just teach a couple of classes there, but I am a practicing artist. Um, I exhibit. Um, we just had a show in India, as a matter of fact. Um, so I, I exhibit is um, very often. I belong to an organization uh, called the National Alliance of Artists from historically black colleges and universities. And we exhibit all over the United States. And as I said, we just took a show down that was in India. So um, I'm also a media specialist too. So a lot of my degree in media and research goes into my artwork. So I will. I know how to do the photography. I know how to do the, the research, and a lot of that goes into art. But I also uh, I have a collection of, of uh, artifacts from my family. Uh, I save everything: photographs, and china cabinets, and dishes, and something. It gives them. They are part of me, and this is to show um, a little bit of what my history is about. And I do that in my paintings too. I tell a story with each one of them. My mother always said that my my uh, my grandmother and my grandfather they were what she would call well to do. Yeah. Um, my grandmother came from Charleston. Her um, her father was a minister in Charleston who founded a church. And he also fought in the Civil War. I have his Civil War record. I have his pension. So the house is still there. It's one of those houses that are turned to the side. Mm -hmm. And so the side is facing the street. And they do that in Charleston for the breeze or something. Like yeah, that. or the blade. Or right, yeah. right. <laughs> and and uh, so it's you know on two levels. Okay. And, um, now the College of Charleston owns it. Wow. So when I was at Winston-Salem State, I got uh, a, um, a grant to go and do more research on my family. You see, at my house, there are a lot of uh, things that my mother has saved that were my grandmother's. So I have a child closet uh, full of dishes that are at least 180 years old. You know the silver and the and the beautiful dishes, uh, and then this beautiful china closet that I have. Um, so history has always been important. She would always talk about the family. My um, my grandfather father started Safe Bus Company in Winston Salem, which is the bus company that you we have now, basically. Wow. So there were thirteen founders, and he was one of them. So they have always spoken out and they have always, I can remember stories my mother told, I think that she, uh, uh, that she did, she actually embarrassed me once in a drugstore because they gave her the wrong medicine. And the pharmacist had nerve enough to say, well, it wouldn't have hurt him anyway. Wow. And, and she just about turned out the drugstore. I'm sure. My mother, who was an educator, by the way. Uh, so was my grandmother. So, but they have saved all of these different things. Uh, my mother wore this wedding dress uh, for her wedding. And by the time I got it, it was too tattered. Right. But I still thought it was a beautiful dress. So I laid it out on the floor and just started taking pictures of it. Right. And that's where this came from. That's beautiful. So this is your grandmother's wedding dress. It was that my was passed to your mother and right. related to you. Right. Wow. Although I couldn't wait. Right. <laughs> but it's still a legacy in yeah. that. So why did you decide to create um, your original wedding dress piece um, mm -hmm. and then these following it, these different renditions? Well, I knew um, when the, the topic of our show was going to be slavery that I was not, I can't handle anything that... Um, that deep in that way. It, it, I'm always going to come from a position of strength mm -hmm. in whatever I do, not the position of what someone did, but the position of strength. You're I've done that with all That's right. Always, no matter what it, um, 
what the subject matter is, I'm going to find that way okay, to handle it. And um, when I saw the dress, uh, and I started taking pictures of, of the dress and put it in different places, um, I decided that that would be what I would use. The fact that no matter what is done to, especially women, right, no matter what is done to them, uh, it should not change who they feel they are or what they feel they can do. Just like I was telling you my professor, mm -hmm. uh, you can tell me that I'm not going to graduate and I'm not going to say anything to you, but I'm going to use what you said to make sure I'm determined I'm going to do it.